As India continues to collide north into China, the earth skyrockets miles above the sea, sculpting the breathtaking Himalaya mountains. Snowmelt and runoff converge off the Tibetan Plateau, creating some of the world's largest river corridors that support millions of people and countless ecosystems. China's rivers are the lifeblood of this world's booming economy, but their ecological health and their ability to sustain the communities that depend on them have never been more in danger than now. Due to overpopulation and overconsumption, the Chinese government is choosing to harness the power of these mighty rivers to support its rapid growth in their race for modernization. And within the next 10 to 15 years, over 150 new large dams will be constructed on the country's last remaining intact river systems. This is the story about the last experience of the Yangtze River before it is completely underwater and transformed into reservoirs. So, pretty much what they're doing is they're killing a river, right? They're killing what is the, um, you know, it's like this right here, you know, your arteries and your veins, that's what rivers are to the planet, and, and they're cutting one of those off, a very important one, they're cutting a bunch of them off, and, and they're, you know, they're levying these rivers uh, so that they aren't free-flowing. They're killing the ecology of a river, and they're consequently killing the environments which have supported and endorsed cultures that have lived here and ex evolved here and existed here for thousands of years. Yeah, I guess part of what to me is such a tragedy here of, of, the, of what's going on, of this conversion of basically a living river into a series of uh, reservoirs that will in effect be dead reservoirs is, uh, is just the, the fact that no one's been here. And so they really don't know what's even being lost. China is undergoing its largest construction project since it built the Great Wall. Dammed, diverted, and polluted, China's rivers are becoming an ecological disaster. Today, there are more than 25,000 large dams in China. Five of China's seven largest rivers are polluted to the point of being unsafe for human contact. The third largest river in the world, the Yangtze River, is now home to the largest hydroelectric project on Earth. downstream and go. In fact, do the exact opposite. Look back upstream. Take the time to appreciate where you are because it is a magnificent place obviously and we are also very lucky in that we are getting to see it in advance of its eminent demise. <laughs> so breathe it all in. Breathe it all in for the sake of everybody who doesn't get the opportunity to come here.
right? And now this story is ours to pass along to other people. whole thing's an uphill battle, right? Because we're working and unfortunately there's an entity here in China that's working to develop Big Hydro and they're working their way upstream on the Yangtze, on the Great Bend specifically where we work and they're just building one dam after the next and, uh, and chewing away at what we had perceived as being a really great section to take people down and, and run rivers and so they are building dams really aggressively. Obviously the, the future of this river has already been determined and uh, that future is a series of 13 reservoirs with no free flowing rivers between, no free flowing sections of river even in between and uh, I guess to me that's, that's kind of the biggest tragedy really is just lack of understanding of the loss that's happening out here. I was told not to hold back and broke brass for cast the news for healing. Say things that you ain't used to hearing. Don't believe everything the news revealing. You can see the you know, construction going on upstream. And uh, it's uh, like a, a very, you know, very sad to see those uh, construction going on because it's a, such a beautiful area and it's a, such a unique, unique regions. So once the dam is on, it's going to be flooded, so we won't see it anymore. And our younger generation, our future generation won't see it anymore. can see how beautiful this area is, the gorge, the canyon, and it's going to be underwater after maybe five years, it's gone. So this is the bad news. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's really strange to be taking out here, knowing that this place soon is going to be underwater, these rocks we're, we're sitting on, where we're talking right here is going to be gone, and all the people who we've interacted with upstream are going to be flooded out of their homes. So yeah, it's really kind of a bittersweet trip because um, it's 
kind of like watching the death of a really close friend. against the clock if there ever was one as far as saving this river is, is a finished race. In China, power generation has won out over conservation. These projects have forced more than 10 million people from their homes and their land, many of whom are still suffering the impacts of displacement. Although hydropower seems green, the consequences of these projects is putting more pressure on the land and the communities that have survived off of these rivers for thousands of years. As far as saving the Yangtze River, it's too late. But within China and the rest of the world, there still remains rivers that have not taken this transformation yet, but are still threatened by the possibility. And yet, there is still hope to save these rivers. I think that it's an important thing to consider that, that our actions really do have impacts because the perspective of us being, you know, kind of the culture of the United States of America and Western culture in large part is that people don't necessarily agree with policy but culture sells and culture goes a long way and the more we consume the more that it perpetuates the need for, for these dams and it more, the more it perpetuates the desire in people that live in places like this to scrap an entire existence that is so much more pure. You know we lost a lot of battles in the states too before we won any of them. You know we've got the Grand Canyon but we lost Glen Canyon and uh, it's a tough one because we're not exactly a role model for environmentalism, I mean, we're the largest consumers on the planet, and uh, it's tough to go to a de developing nation, especially one with over a billion people, and uh, say don't build dams, especially when they open a new coal-fired coal power plant every week in this country. Uh, but at the same time, you got to believe, or I've got to believe at least, that there's a better solution than what's going on right here. Uh, the other day, our, we, were, uh, we have a debate with Willie and Jed and me. We were talking about the future of the world. 
we say the future of the world is going to be finished because we want we have want so much things we want so much energy so we was we were discussing if there's any chance to save this world so i mean it's up to you to think about this idea to think about it whether you are able to save the world or not because it's i mean every individual is you know one of those big family of the world you know so your way of living and your your way your family your country and so on and so forth you know lead the ways so i think there should be some at least some opportunity for the human kind if they think about it and change the way they live so i think there should be a bright future Life's too fast, I gotta move slow Until I grow my wings and then that's when I'ma fly I seen the other side, I got people waiting on me Filling my story so I'm sticking with the lie Dropping more leaves, trees grown wise I didn't wanna lie, never said this shit was easy Know that baby's gonna cry And then she's gonna smile big for me Cause I'm perfecting my path After I come up with my answers Then I'm checking the math, I know the cross Before you ball, believe just half of what you saw Perceive the glass is almost full But you could fill another glass Still another calf laughs He's just a part of the herd But we ain't gotta butt heads I get much farther with words I'm just an artist trying to run and jump A dreamer who could skip and fly Seen you losing grip and I came zipping by Dipping, hitting switches, something vicious Then I doubled back Ain't no trouble, that's just in my nature Let's get there, we'll take it, we'll take it. Jump and fly, we can get 